How to Caption a Video Using Amara Amara.org is a free website that you can use to caption videos on the web. A benefit to using Amara over YouTube is, unlike YouTube, with Amara, you can caption any public video on YouTube or Vimeo without downloading even if you don't own the video. Before you start captioning, copy the URL of your video from YouTube or Vimeo. Type in the words amara.org into your address bar of your browser. On the Amara homepage, click on the Subtitle Video tab in the navigation menu. In the Subtitle Video page, paste the video link that you copied earlier into the field provided and then press the Begin button. Now the video is embedded in Amara, or in other words, it's displayed in the Amara player. On the page where the video is displayed are two links. One is titled, Add a New Language, and the other is upload them directly. To manually caption a video, click on the add a new language link. A window will appear asking you to specify the language for the captions. To create closed captions, select from the drop down menu the same language that the video was recorded in. If it was recorded in English, select English. The Amara editor will appear with the video displayed. In addition to the video, there's also a block where you add the captions. I'll demonstrate how to add captions in a moment. In the editor, there's also a section that gives you tips on how to use the Amara editor. The easiest way to use the Amara editor is with the keyboard shortcuts. Thus, Amara has all the keyboard shortcuts displayed right in the editor. Some important shortcuts to know are, to play and pause the video, click the tab key. If you missed something or made a mistake, then to skip the video back a few seconds, press the shift and tab keys at the same time. There are more shortcuts you can use with Amara. Simply click on the more commands link to learn about them. Another nice feature of Amara is the subtitle guidelines, which gives you tips on how to properly caption a video. Also on this editor are the controls. In the captioning section of the screen, there are rectangles. You can add more rectangles by pressing the enter key on your keyboard. Each of these rectangles represent what will appear on the screen at one time. Everything in one rectangle will all appear on the screen. To start transcribing, press the tab key to start the video. Listen and type what you hear into the first rectangle of captions. If the video is playing a little too fast, press the tab key again to pause. Now Amara has guidelines on how many words you should have per line and how many lines you should have on the screen at a time. When you exceed those guidelines, Amara will give you a visual warning. I've typed out a couple of captions. I'm not going to finish this now, but I'll show you what I would do if I were finished transcribing this video. The next step is to sync the captions. Click on the Yes Start Syncing button. When syncing captions, pay attention to the timeline. When it's time in the video for a caption to appear on the screen, press the down arrow on your keyboard. When another caption is needed, then click the down arrow again. This will automatically stop the previous caption and then start a new one. Now you can actually just keep clicking the down arrow throughout the video. However, if you ever want to create a gap between two captions, like for example, if there's a long pause in the video where no one is speaking, then press the up arrow instead of the down arrow to close a caption. What this does is it doesn't automatically start another caption. So you'll have to manually click the down arrow again whenever you want the next caption to begin. When you're finished syncing your captions, the final step is to review the captions for errors. Now the mistakes could be in the text or in the syncing. So if the captions are slightly out of sync, you can just adjust them using the mouse on the timeline. Once your video is finished, press the publish button. 
Once your video is published, you'll be taken out of the editor to a page where your video is displayed. If you play your video, the captions will appear. You will also notice that your video now has an interactive transcript. To get the embed code for your video, click the Get Embed Code link and copy and paste the code from that window into the HTML editor of wherever you want to display your video. So for example, in the HTML editor of Moodle. If you just want to link to the video, copy and paste the URL from the address bar. Now, there's a lot more that you can do with Amara, but those are the basic steps on how to caption a video. For more detailed information, I recommend reviewing the help resources provided on the Amara website.